welcome to another episode of Vet Talk. I'm Brother Vince. I'm an Army veteran, and today we're going to be talking about the VA denying black veterans health benefits more than white veterans, according to the data that is shown. But before we get into that, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can find more content from Vet Talk on YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Reddit for more content. And to all veterans who would love to share your story or resource for veterans and non-veterans who would love to share your resource for veterans, please feel free to contact me ASAP so we can schedule the meeting. Let's get into this topic, man. So again, we're talking about black veterans being denied health care benefits more than our white counterparts. Well, according to this article, they said that the recent data analysts conducted by the VA or Department of Veteran Affairs have shed light to, on a racial disparity in access to disability health benefits for black veterans. The finding shows that black veterans are denied benefits at a higher rate than their white counterparts. This is a concerning issue that needs to be addressed urgently. The VA's initiative to create an agency equity team is a positive step towards eliminating these disparities. However, it is important to acknowledge that the issue is not unique to the VA. Racial disparity in access to health care and health care outcomes are well documented in the United States and border systemic changes are needed to ensure equal access to health care for all Americans. It is critical that we recognize the sacrifices made by veterans and ensure that they receive the care and support they deserve. The VA must continue to work towards eliminating barriers and concerns that prevent veterans from accessing their benefits equally across the board. We owe it to our veterans to provide them with the best possible care and support, regardless of their race or ethnicity. So I just really wanted to just talk a little bit about it and say that I think the VA is taking the necessary steps to move forward and bridge the gap between black and white veterans. And it's something that I've talked about countless amounts of time. If you go back to my beginning videos, I did videos on slavery, talking about who was responsible for slavery and, you know, just different things. And I will say that I do believe that there has been some racial inequalities within the VA because I talked to my uncle Patrick. Um, I have a father who's a veteran. I have an uncle who's a veteran and they got out back in the early eighties, nineties and a lot of them didn't receive any help from the VA as far as compensation and different things. And it took them all the way into the late 2000s um, to even receive benefits. So, I mean, there are a lot of different things that, you know, I can point to to show that we have a lot of racial inequalities that goes on within certain organizations. But it's a blessing to know that those barriers and those walls are being torn down. And I'll be honest, it was kind of hard for me when I first read this article to accept those facts because I can honestly say personally, I never experienced it, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. And if it does exist, those issues need to be addressed so that every veteran can be afforded the opportunity to be taken care of equally because equally we serve. And I don't like the device that they put amongst us because again, when we wore that uniform, we never looked to our left or right and said that I won't serve with this person or that person because of the color of their skin. Because at the end of the day, when we fought, we fought together. When we died, we died together. When we got on the plane, we got on the plane together. You know, to go to Afghanistan, in my case, for some Iraq, some Vietnam, some the Korean War, you know, all, you know, aspects of um war, you know, all of us as veterans got on that plane together. And when we came back, although some of us may have came back, you know, with less people than we went over there with, we came back together. We, you know, recognize those veterans who lost their lives together. So for them to tear us apart or put us against each other, that's not right. And that's why a lot of times on my um, Twitter, I speak out a lot about it because there are sometimes I sense that all veterans are in support of all veterans, which to me is crazy because again, we all served and put on that uniform saying that we were United States Army, Navy, Marines, Coast Guard, or, you know, Space Force, whatever the case may be. So to come back and take off that uniform and go back to being black, white, Asian, Mexican, 
or whatever the case may be to me, that's crazy. That's ludicrous because how is it that we were together when we serve together but then now that we don't serve together now we want to go back and say well we no longer share a bond we no longer have anything in common that's crazy and for those veterans who are like that man i just pray for you because again you're lost you're a sad person and i pray that you'll learn to love yourself because the bible says to love your neighbor as thyself and if you have no love for yourself, then I understand why you don't have love for me as your brother. I just pray that you get the help that you need. And I thank the Lord for, you know, these barriers being broken down and for a change coming about because the change is much needed. Because again, man, we're all a part of the human race. We all fight the same devil. Whether you fight him or not, we all have the same common enemy. Don't let the devil fool you and have you thinking, you know, it's black versus white, it's man versus women, it's boy versus girl, girl versus boy. Don't don't let him trick you with those little menial fights because at the end of the day, it's just him. You know, he's the one that's in between both sides, causing both sides to fight against each other because he has one common goal, and that's to steal, kill, and destroy. That's all he cares about, and that's all you ever see happen with this racial stuff is people steal they kill and they destroy each other all for the sake of something that at the end of the day really doesn't matter because what does your skin color have to do with anything if you were created by the creator of all creations? It has nothing to do with it because, again, you're, you had no choice as to what color you came out in this world as. That was decided by someone outside of you. It has nothing to do with the bloodline that you came through and none of that. It was all chosen by God himself. You know what I mean? So educate yourself and find out the truth. But you know, the Bible says that God's people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. And that knowledge that they don't have is because they reject it. He said they reject it. So when I'm giving you biblical scriptures or I'm talking about these different things or your pastor or somebody there to teach you these things and you reject it, you suffer because you reject it. So don't keep suffering and going through because you refuse to hear the truth. The truth will set you free if you let it. So as always, man, this has been another episode with your boy, Brother Vince for Vet Talk. My good people, Vet Talk out.